Karima Hassan, um, and I'm a painter, and I do like mural art, street art, community workshops. It's funny because when people ask me like who inspires me, it's not always painters. A lot of the people that inspire me are people like Indiari or Erica Badu or like all the Renaissance artists. Mm. So that's why I usually when I do painting, I'll always bring in like musicians to the exhibition and paint up my artists. It's interesting, like, I've started doing like more performance paintings. I did like a piece there that was probably about the size of that door, like four by four meters or four by eight meters and then we flipped it the next night. But it was hard because obviously it was like pitch black. So there was some like neon lighting, lighting it. When do you go to like a big rave and then see painting? A lot of my projects are workshops or performance pieces. I had like a lot of work lined up over summer. Artists in general, like we live sometimes month to month. Lockdown affected me quite harshly in that sense. Work just kind of crumbled and mm -hmm. I forgot that my creativity is the thing that heals me as well and so like I didn't even want to kind of come close to painting because it was like I didn't want to be productive and I saw painting as being productive or yeah. I saw being creative as being like a commodity and I felt kind of numb at first during lockdown and then I think within a week or two weeks I realized that like I need to be creative like that's the thing that makes you go from like survival mode to thriving mode at first it was like small things like okay creativity doesn't have to be drawing it but it can be just like dancing or like making food as i was kind of healing myself i was like okay i need to try and help others heal as well yeah. and listen to them and like connect with them and that's how the strangers year book project came about where i could reach out to like an issue was just a friend so i would mm. reach out to them and say like like let's skip the like the awkward small talk just like if you need, I'm here, like tell me how you're actually feeling, like really feeling. So interesting because some people were like, I feel really great and I feel guilty for feeling great. Or mm. like some people were like, I feel really bad and scared. And that turned in from this thing of like, okay, send me a picture, tell me how you're feeling. And there's this like portal for you to like see a souvenir of that time. And I called it Strangers Yearbook at first because I love connecting to strangers in that way, but it wasn't really a strangers thing, it was like me checking in with friends. And then it actually genuinely became like a strangers thing and I had people from around the world. And obviously for me it's hard because doing that project is like therapy for other people and they just offload a lot into one space. For me, nature is the one, like that's how I um, ground myself and really like feel at peace. And so it's, and it's kind of ironic, like living in London, how do you do that? Yeah. But like, I do a lot of walking, I like, just go to parks, I, you know, make sure I have flowers in the house. I think, especially over lockdown, my subject matter has gotten a bit more peaceful and tranquil. Wow. And I've done like more still lives so or painting out from the window because for so long, like, the window frame was what we were looking at yeah and so um i've kind of like my paintings are usually like portals into dream worlds or like remedies into what i need yeah. and i'm painting more nature and plants and idyllic situations because i think actually like that's what a lot of us needed in lockdown as well the shoot I wanted it to be a really nice backdrop that showed off the portrait, showed off the model and had this kind of like bright contrast between the colours and their skin tone and their hair and the hair textures and it's like makeup like I want like I want the, the model to be the thing that shows yeah. off and the painting just is like amplifies that. I didn't really know what I was going to paint but I knew I wanted to paint something that felt joyful and that had the natural floral aspect to it but then when I was like here in front of the backdrop it kind of inspired me to just to like take mm. those patterns and those yeah. those forms like, I don't know what I'm gonna paint until like the brush hits the canvas and especially yeah. when I'm in my studio where I can be a bit more free to make mistakes and stuff mm. like that's when I'm way way more free when I do like the performative pieces I have to have my or like a mural I have to have more of an idea so maybe I'll have like a little sketch on my phone or my sketchbook but even then it never turns out exactly how it's going to be because 
because I'm really not precious and I don't like trace and I don't do anything like that, yeah. like it's always a bit different. Um, but yeah, I never really know exactly what it's going to be and I like that surprise, like I live for that like, spontaneity. Yeah.